Hey everybody, Ben here from DMC Films and Cinderblock Studios, and this week I'm back with another quick tip for all you artists out there. So one thing I advocate a lot on this channel is really planning out uh, your art, and, and for every painting that you do, making sure that it's a really refined idea and you sketch it out a lot and you practice it before you take it to the canvas. And that's very good stuff. But there's something that I tend to overlook a lot, and it's something that I do, but it's not something I talk about a lot, and that's that for every project that is refined, for every project that you put a lot of effort into, it's really important to do projects that you don't nece not necessarily aren't, aren't putting effort into, but projects that don't take a lot of thought. Uh, you want to have projects that will free you up mentally to work on the projects that involve a lot of uh, refining and detail. Uh, this actually comes out of a conversation uh, that I was having with my art manager this past week where the stuff that I do that's a lot more freeform, that I'm not worried about refining into stuff, sometimes actually looks better because it has that level of uh, flow to it. For example, here's a couple of uh, little sketches I've done recently. That, oh, there it is. Ha. These are tracing paper and Sharpie marker, and they're just little uh, thumbnail landscapes. Uh, these are really fun to do, particularly because they don't take a lot of time, and it's one of those things. It's a sketch exercise. It's, a, it's something to free you up. Uh, I was doing sketches in metallic Sharpie uh, recently. Let's see what else I've got. There, and then, you know, as, after you do these uh, sort of smaller sketch kind of experiments, when you start experimenting on things like watercolor paper, on maybe heavier canvases, wood panels, uh, you start to come up with something like this, which is a, or rather was, an experiment with gouache, which I'm working on uh, turning into a finished piece. And that's the thing, is when you experiment enough, when you can play, with just play with color, just play with shapes, your, your basic elements of design and whatever material you have, just play with them. And every now and then, as you're working, those can turn into interesting uh, pa uh, paintings that you can then, you know, add to your collection of actual work. But for every piece that is refined, it's important to also have at least one other piece alongside it that is built not from a refined idea, but from just playing around. So that's my quick tip for you this week. Just play around with something. If you're, you know, if you're stuck, you don't know what to do, just play with your paint. Play with your materials. Uh, for example, the gouache, this was a watercolor background that I started just, I'm like, maybe this, maybe this, maybe this. For every great idea you have, it's important to work out of something that you don't have to think about. And sometimes not thinking is important as thinking at least in terms of creating something new. So I hope you found this video useful in any way, and if you did, go ahead and hit that like button below. Subscribe for more, and this has been from DMC Films and Cinderblock Studios. See you guys next time.